Hello everyone, my name is Ankit Vama and today we are learning the Krushkal algorithm. This algorithm is to construct the minimum spanning tree. A minimum spanning tree is a tree which connect all the vertex without having a cycle and with the minimum weight possible. So here a graph is given to us and here we have to find out the minimum spanning tree using the Krushkal algorithm. In this graph, we are having the circles in the black color. These are the vertices. So here, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. These are the vertices. And here in the minimum spanning tree, we have to connect all the vertices. And while connecting, they should not have any cycle. In the graph, we are having green colors lines which are joining these vertices and these are the edges. So any edge join the two vertices. Every edge contain some number and this number is the weight of that edge. This weight can be the distance or the cost. So from vertex 3 to vertex 4, we are having an edge that contain 9 is a weight. If 9 is in kilometer, that means it is a distance. Or if it 9 is into the rupees, that means it is the cost. So from 3 to 4, we may have some distance or the cost. So to construct the minimum spanning tree, the weight should be minimum. Now we are applying the Kushkal algorithm on this graph. Krushkal's algorithm says that sort all the edges into the ascending order of their weight and afterward pick the smallest edge. So here in the graph we can see that the minimum weight of the edge is 1. So this edge is selected between 7 and 6. So in step 1 we have taken the minimum weighted edge. Now in step 2 we are moving forward and taking the next minimum and we can see that 2 are the next minimum weight but here 2 different different edges are eligible. One is from 2 to 8 and second is from 6 to 5 and we can pick any of them. Let us suppose I am picking the edge between 6 and 5. So here in step 2 we have added one more edge. Now we are taking the next minimum which is 2. So here the edge between 2 and 8. In step 3 we can see that there is one more edge which is added. But there is important thing to note. In Krushkal algorithm we can see that the edge 2 and 8 is not connected from 7 and 6 or 6 and 5. So this is totally independent. That means it is not connected. So here in the Krushkal algorithm, we may have disconnected components. There is one more algorithm for minimum spanning tree and that is the Prim's algorithm. In Prim's algorithm, we never have this disconnected component. So moving forward with the Krushkal algorithm, now in the step 4, we are again finding the next minimum edge and we can see that 4 is the minimum weight. So that is between 2 and 5 and also 4 is between 0 and 1. So we can pick any of them as per our choice. So I am picking the edge between 2 and 5. So in step 4 we have added one more edge. Now from the graph again we are finding the next minimum edge and that is between 0 and 1. So in step 5 one more edge is added. Now in the graph, we are again checking the next minimum edge and we can see that 6 is the minimum weight. 
in the minimum spanning tree we have the condition that there should not be any cycle but if i connect 8 and 6 so here if i connect these 8 and 6 we will form the cycle and it will violate the condition so here we cannot connect the edge between 8 and 6 because in the minimum spanning tree there should not be any cycle so again from the graph we are picking the next minimum edge so the minimum weight is 7 and we can see that there are two edges available in the graph let us suppose that I am picking 7 and 8 but if I connect 7 and 8 we can see that again we will form the cycle and cycle should not be there into the minimum spanning tree so this option again we will not consider so from the graph we are finding the next minimum edge and that is 7 so 7 is between 2 and 3 so I am connecting this edge between 2 and 3 so in step 6 one more edge is added now from the graph we are picking the next minimum edge so here the weight is 8 which is with two edges we can pick any of the edge as per our choice so I am picking the edge between 0 and 7 vertex in step 7 one more edge is added now again we are picking the next minimum edge which is 8 but here we should check there should not be any cycle by connecting vertex 1 and 2 but here if I connect vertex 1 and 2 we can see that it is going to form a cycle so this option we are not going to pick so from the graph we are picking the next minimum edge which is having the weight that is 9 so we are connecting the edge between vertex 3 and 4 so in step 8 one more edge is added now we can see that all the vertices are connected so here we should stop even if we are continuing with the next minimum edge which is 10 it will make the cycle and afterward 11 again it will make the cycle and 14 it will make the cycle so whenever all the vertices which are given are connected then afterward we should stop so here we can see that all the vertices which are from 0 to 8 these 0 to 8 vertices are connected so connect all the vertex without any cycle we can see that there is no cycle exist and with the minimum weight we have taken so using the Kruskal algorithm we have constructed the minimum spanning tree now we are finding the weight of this minimum spanning tree so starting from 4 plus 8 plus 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 2 plus 7 plus 9 and that is equal to 37 so this minimum spanning tree constructed by the Kruskal algorithm having the weight which is 37 and the time complexity of Kruskal algorithm is big of e log v where e is the number of edges and v is the number of vertices so here we have learned the Kruskal algorithm to construct the minimum spanning tree so that's all for today thank you